the Emperor Napoleon in his study at the Tuileries is a painting by Jacques-Louis David, a French neoclassical artist who was known for his political and historical paintings. Jacques-Louis David was one of the most influential and celebrated French painters of his time. He was a master of the neoclassical style, which emphasized classical themes, ideals, and forms. He also painted many scenes from the French Revolution, as well as portraits of Napoleon Bonaparte. David was born in Paris on August 30, 1748. His father died when he was nine years old, and his mother left him with his wealthy uncles. He received a good education at the Collège des Quaternations and the University of Paris, but he had a passion for drawing since childhood. He studied under François Boucher, a Rococo painter who influenced David's early style. In 1775, David went to Rome to study art at the Academia di Belle Arti. There he met many other artists who shared his interest in classical antiquity and history painting. He also witnessed the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 1780, which inspired him to paint the death of Marat, 1793, one of his most famous works. In 1784, David returned to France and became a leader of the neoclassical movement. He painted many large canvases that depicted historical events or heroic figures from ancient Rome or Greece. Some examples are the Oath of the Heretii, 1784, the Coronation of Napoleon, 1806, and the Death of Socrates, 1797. His paintings were admired for their realism, emotion, and moral message. In 1792, David joined the French Revolution as a deputy to the National Convention. He supported Robespierre's radical policies and became one of his closest allies. He also helped to abolish the Royal Academy of Painting and Sculpture in 1795. In 1799, after Robespierre's fall from power, David was arrested and imprisoned for several months. He was released in 1800 and continued to paint portraits of Napoleon Bonaparte whom he admired as a great leader and reformer. In 1804, after Napoleon's coup d'etat against King Joseph Bonaparte, Napoleon's brother, David became one of his official painters. He painted many scenes that glorified Napoleon's achievements and ambitions. Some examples are the coronation of Napoleon, 1806, the entry into Moscow, 1812, and the death of Napoleon, 1821. His paintings were praised for their grandeur, drama, and patriotism. In 1815, after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo by a coalition of European powers led by Britain and Prussia, David fled to Brussels with his family. There he lived until his death on December 29, 1825. David was not only an artist, but also a politician who played an important role in shaping France's history during the turbulent times of the French Revolution and Empire. He was admired by many people for his talent, courage, and vision. However, he also faced criticism for his involvement in political affairs that led to violence and bloodshed. He painted this portrait in 1812, when Napoleon was at the height of his power and influence in Europe. The painting shows Napoleon working tirelessly for the people of France, drafting the Napoleonic Code, a set of civil laws that became the basis of modern legal systems worldwide. The painting also conveys a sense of intimacy and realism, as if it were a snapshot of a private moment between Napoleon and his loyal subjects. The painting is divided into two parts, the upper part shows Napoleon standing in front of his desk, facing the viewer. He is wearing a military uniform with red cuffs, gold epaulets, and medals. He also has a Legion of Honor medal on his chest, which was awarded by King Louis XVIII to honor Napoleon's achievements. His hair is disheveled, his stockings are wrinkled, and his right hand is tucked into his jacket. These details suggest that he has been up all night writing laws and reforms. His face is calm and serious, but also shows signs of fatigue and stress. The lower part shows the desk where Napoleon is working. It is cluttered with books, papers, pens, and maps. On the desk are several rolled papers with the letters COD, which stands for Code Napoleon or Code Civil. This was one of Napoleon's most important creations, a comprehensive code that replaced the previous system of feudal laws that had governed France for centuries. The code established principles such as equality before the law, property rights, civil rights, religious freedom, and family law. It also influenced many other countries' legal systems, such as Germany, Italy, Belgium, Switzerland, Japan, China. Napoleon's pose in David's portrait is significant for several reasons. 
First, it is a gesture that was commonly used in portraiture during the 18th and 19th centuries to indicate leadership, calmness, and modesty. It was also associated with classical statuary and rhetoric, suggesting a connection to the ancient culture and values of France. Second, it is a pose that David revived from his previous painting of Napoleon crossing the Alps, which was commissioned by the King of Spain as a symbol of their alliance. By using the same pose in his study portrait, David created a sense of continuity and coherence between the two scenes, as well as a contrast between Napoleon's military achievements and his domestic affairs. Third, it is a pose that reflects Napoleon's personality and character. According to some sources, Napoleon was not very fond of his hand in waistcoat gesture, which he considered awkward and uncomfortable. He preferred to keep his hands free for writing or riding. However, he also used the gesture to project an image of authority and confidence, as well as to hide any signs of weakness or fatigue. The gesture also helped him to control his emotions and avoid showing too much vulnerability or sympathy. Napoleon's clothing in David's portrait is significant for several reasons. First, it reflects his status as the Emperor of France and his role as a military leader. He is wearing a blue uniform with red cuffs, which is that of the foot grenadiers of the Imperial Guard. This was one of the elite units of Napoleon's army, composed of young and loyal soldiers who fought bravely in many battles. The uniform also shows Napoleon's preference to wear soldiers' garb on certain dress occasions to signify solidarity with his troops. Second, it contrasts with his earlier portrait by David, which shows him wearing a military uniform with gold epaulets and medals. These were symbols of rank and honor that Napoleon had earned during his campaigns in Italy and Egypt. However, by 1812, when David painted this portrait, Napoleon had lost most of his territories and power to his enemies. He was also facing a growing opposition from within France, as many people resented his authoritarian rule and taxation policies. The uniform in this portrait suggests that Napoleon was trying to restore some of his prestige and authority by showing himself as a humble and hard-working ruler who cared for the people. Third, it reveals some aspects of Napoleon's personality and character. According to some sources, Napoleon was not very fond of his hand in waistcoat gesture, which he considered awkward and uncomfortable. He preferred to keep his hands free for writing or riding. However, he also used the gesture to project an image of authority and confidence, as well as to hide any signs of weakness or fatigue. The gesture also helped him to control his emotions and avoid showing too much vulnerability or sympathy, 